We're talking about uh, that front that passed us by today. A little bit of rainfall. Did you see any in your I did when I woke up. Yeah, you woke up at 11.30 this morning? And I went back to sleep. Because <laughs> that's when it rolled through. It hit the coast at about 11.30 this morning. And we're going to talk about all that. Let me go over here. The first, uh, the Armature Works. Check out this shot out there. Beautiful in downtown Tampa tonight. Really clear skies throughout much of the area. That front has passed us by. The cloud cover is starting to evacuate out of the area. And we're going to see cooler temperatures coming our way over the course of the next couple of days, but it's not going to last long. Right now, downtown Tampa sitting at 65 degrees. We've got a dew point at 56, relative humidity at about 73%. I want to show you the radar. There's nothing on it, but I want to show you what's going on right now. So let's go over to uh, the big board if we can. There you go. Absolutely clear on the Doppler. Everything has passed us by. It is far off to the east at this hour, and uh, we don't expect to see anything with regard to rainfall coming our way until about Thursday, Friday of next week. As a matter of fact, we'll go in a little closer, a little ground clutter uh, coming out of the uh, Doppler site, some patchy clouds here and there with a little bit of moisture in it. But again, that entire front is completely moved off. It's out in the Atlantic Ocean now, and it's really not a concern for us. We hit a daytime high today at 78 degrees. Our normal for this time of the year, 79, so slightly below normal. And that's because of that uh, cloud cover and that front that blew through. Look at this. We picked up a tenth of an inch of rain at the airport. Was that the big winner? We'll talk about that in a second as well. There's your current temperatures on the board. Look at the 50s starting to fluctuate in from the north. Uh, we've got 50s from Odessa through Land Lakes, Fenona Sassa, Temple Terrace, 65 right now in Tampa, Davis Island at 63. Let's back out a little bit. Crystal River. 52, 49 in Brooksville. We're going to see a lot of 40s to our north, especially along the Nature Coast and even through uh, some of the areas uh, closer to the Tampa Bay area. So there's uh, St. Pete, 58 right now uh, at a dew point, a dew point of 56 in Tampa. Remember, the dew point shows us how much uh, moisture is at the surface. So the lower the dew points, the more comfortable it is, the less humidity we have in the area. So uh, we're going to see dew points really start to drop over the course of the next couple of hours. As a matter of fact, let's look at it right now. Look how they dip and dive down to about a 46 degree dew point by tomorrow at 10 a.m. Rainfall observations. I told you downtown Tampa hit about a tenth of an inch of rain. There it is right there. Crystal River over a tenth of an inch and then trace amounts through Brooksville, Zephyr Hills, Plant City, Winter Haven. Who is the big winner? Check it out. Clearwater Airport, almost a quarter of an inch of rain. St. Petersburg, a tenth of an inch of rain. Davis Island, four, uh, four one hundredths of an inch of rain. So not a whole lot. Here we go, expected rainfall. Look at the next five days, nothing on the boards. Small 10% chance on Thursday, but all of that rain looks like it's gonna remain to our south. There's future cast for you. There's the wind flow right now. I'm gonna put it into motion. The front exits out uh, down to our south and east, and uh, we're gonna see the winds starting to come out of the north, northeast over the course of the uh, next few hours. Oh, real quick, Tampa Bay at DC tomorrow, 52. Great football weather. Tom Brady, we need you back. Bad man. Oh, we got we got guys out all over. There's your seven day forecast. 70 tomorrow. The big warm day is going to be Thursday of next week. Miranda, back to you.